Hello everyone, this is Manoj and in this video we will talk about HTTP in ReactJS. So basically whenever any client requests something from your backend or you can say the database, we can make HTTP calls and based on those HTTP calls, server accept the request and it returns something as a response. Then that response again sent back to the front end client. So as you can see on the screen, so this is our client app and we are considering that we are using react as our front end app. So react requests something through an HTTP call through this API and it goes to this database and it gets some response. Again, it sends back the response through this API to the front end or you can say our client app, which is react JS. All right. So this is we handle through our HTTP calls. So in this tutorial, we will see how we can manage HTTP calls in react.js. All right. Let's go to Visual Studio Code. And the first step which we need to do is we have to install one package, which is Axios. If I open package.json, so here you can see I have already installed this package and the command is npm i Axios. All right. So you have to install this package. Now, let me show you something. So this JSON placeholder dot typecode.com this is a website which provides some fake api so we are going to use the same api if you see this post api is returning 100 post all right first we will see how we can use the get api let's copy this and here i'm using one of the hooks so you don't need to worry about what is hooks i will cover all this in one of the next series so just to show you how we can use our get api first import axios from axios now axios dot get and this will take a url i'm just pasting it after that dot then response so let's console this response console.log response and dot catch in case any error simply log the error as well so console.log error save now export default app now go back to browser and let's open the developer tools so in the console you can see we have an object if I expand we have some properties config data header request and if I expand the data we will see 100 post so this is how we can use our HTTP get now let's see how we can use HTTP post so for that let's use a button save and here on click let's give handle save and here let's create this handle so handle save this will be our function first we need to create a state so let's say const post data and in this we have to pass the same properties like this let's say user id i'm giving this let's copy the same
id is this one title sample title this is a sample post save so we have created our body now axios dot post so again this will take a URL and data let's copy this URL double quotes and now we have to pass our data which is post data dot then response if this is a valid response means if we are getting success then simply say alert not alert let's say console dot response we will see what properties we are getting from this console dot log response and let's copy this catch block from here in any case we will log the error all right let's save go back to browser refresh now open the developer tools in the console if i click on save you see we have got a response let's open it and in the data we have passed this body and if you see the request we have getting the status as 201 means we have successfully post our data all right so this is how you can use your post request again this i'm using as using this fake api but in a real project in a real life scenario you will get some backend apis and you will also get a kind of pattern and you will use the same pattern to pass your properties or to create your data body all right so this is how you can use your http get and post request similar to get and post we can also perform delete put patch all right so that i am leaving up to you you can simply use the same approach and change the api all right so this is how we can maintain our http request in react js all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye